An integer is one less than twice another. If their product is 28, find the integers. So to start this, what I'm going to do is try to identify the variables. It looks like we're dealing with two numbers here. We're dealing with two integers. So let's let x equal the first one. Now, to identify the second integer, we've got to look for some keywords. And I notice um, the second integer is twice that of the other one. Uh, furthermore, it's one less. Okay, so let's go back. So twice this integer would be 2x. One less than that is minus 1. Okay, so the other integer. All right, so one less than twice another. There it is. One less than twice the other integer. Once we've identified the variables, we try to set some sort of algebraic equation up so we can solve it. Okay, looking at the second um, sentence, let's identify the keywords there, and I see product is 28. Okay, now the product means to multiply. So if I multiply these two numbers together, x times 2x minus 1, that product is supposed to be 28. All right, so this is our setup. Once we get it set up, we're going to use algebra to solve that. Now, if I multiply that and distribute that x, um, I can easily see this is going to be a quadratic equation. So 2x squared minus x equals 28. And all the techniques that we have for solving quadratics require this to be equal to 0. So let's go ahead and subtract 28 on both sides. And then I'll have 2x squared minus x minus 28 equals 0. So there's our quadratic equation, uh, which I'm going to try to solve this by factoring. It looks like, it looks like it's going to factor, so let's try. Um, 2x squared uh, factors as 2x times x. Okay, 28 breaks up as 2 times 14, but notice the middle term has to be negative 1. All right, so 2 and 14 is probably not a good choice. Let's try um, 4 times 7. Now, if I put the 4 over here and the 7 there, that's going to be helpful because uh, my outer term with the 4 there will give me an 8x. Okay, and my inner terms here give me a 7x. 8x and 7x adds up to negative 1x, certainly if the 8 is negative and the 7 is positive. Okay, with a little bit of thought, then I'm going to put the plus there and the minus here. That'll make sure my middle term is correct. Now, is the end term correct? Let's check. 7 times negative 4 is negative 28. Okay, so it looks like that's how it factors. That's factored correctly. Let's go ahead and erase this. Once you have it factored correctly, you then set each factor uh, equal to 0. Okay, so 2x plus 7 equals 0 using the 0 property, or x minus 4 equals 0. All right, so this here tells me x equals 4, and the second solution here, 2x equals negative 7, or x equals negative 7 halves. Now, remember in the original problem, x was supposed to be an integer. So certainly, um, 7 halves is not an integer. That's a sort of a fraction there. So let's go ahead and throw that one away. And let's use 4 as the solution for the first integer. Okay, so if x is equal to 4, then the, the second integer is 2 times that 4 minus 1. Remember twice that, 1 less than twice that number? Okay, in this case, 8 minus 1 is 7. So the second integer then is 7. So 4 and 7 are the two integers that we're looking for whose product is 28. Certainly we could have guessed at that, but uh, you, know, um, you want to be able to solve this type of a problem using algebra so that when the numbers aren't so easy to guess at, you know how to do it.